Hey guys! Hello! This is one of those special episodes, not one of those, it is a special episode that uh, uh, we're not going to be beaming with uh, sunshine and Turkish smile water. and Turkish water and instead we'll take you to dark strong. places. Yeah. I'm always worried to stay too long but what's on your mind tonight? I love it when we can laugh together. My name is Anya, this is Bartek. And these are our little ones, Kuba and Julian. We've been living on a boat for six years. This is our trimaran Polly, a sailboat and a house that we explore the world with. During our journey, we've had many adventures, visited beautiful places and met some amazing people and creatures. We've seen storms, tornado and hurricane and even break in into our home. To continue our journey around the world, we have to renovate our poly. In June 2021, we sailed nearly 5,000 miles directly from the Caribbean to Gdańsk in Poland. It soon turned out that the list of repairs was longer and much more serious than we had planned. Alright guys, welcome straight from the battlefield uh, from our uh, poly, which part of it you can see it's a bit of a mess or more like a war zone a bit. Um, uh, we normally beam sunshine and happiness and smile to you from the Caribbean, but as you know we've been sitting in Poland for almost a year uh, fixing the boat and it was, it was a conscious decision, but it's getting to us uh, because since we stayed for longer uh, we basically dug up more things that we normally would and uh, as you as many of you know uh, Digging up any new area in the boat opens up another two three four five different things So we've uncovered a lot of things. We're happy about it because this was the time to fix it, but the amount of work is like staggering mm -hmm. So Anya is having a nervous breakdown I'm trying to keep her, uh, how should I say, in vertical position, keep her mind in, intact uh, by saying that we're at the low point where we're starting to bounce off and starting to reinstall things on board. Uh, just literally yesterday we repainted the, uh, the engine room and all that, so now it's ready for the electrical installation, for the water installation, all that stuff to come back in its rightful place in a new form actually well thought out as opposed to what it was here so this is another one of those things that i'm really happy that we dug up and we're putting together again uh, because we've uncovered a lot of things that were really not well thought out here so we're correcting them so honey what do you think so why did we choose poland yeah, so we decided to come uh, to the other side of the world, uh, to Poland, our home country, uh, because of few factors. And first, we, lo we, would love, we wanted to see our families and spend more time with them. And the second, but maybe on the same <laughs> level, uh, the prices and the quality of labor and, um, and labor here in Poland in the shipyard industry. And two of them are perfectly fine, but there are a few things that we didn't expect. The, the time af after we arrived turned out the, the pr all the prices uh, step, step by step started to uh, rise. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes not step by step. Yeah, but. we're talking about steps like, for example, stainless steel, the, the, the boat quality one, the 316, uh, has gone up in price probably like fivefold since, since last year. Uh, so we're not talking step by step. This is not mm. not a 20 30 percent uh, race. So uh, and this is just one of the examples. And of course that of course that that translates cascading uh, that has a cascading effect on all the suppliers of all the parts. So mm -hmm. it's not only the prices but also the availability of things have gone from uh, you know talking about things being available off the shelf all the way to two weeks. Now it's sometimes months before you can reach anything and some of the things are simply not available and they don't know when they're going to be available. So uh, this whole situation with international supply chain, as you all know, has hit us pretty strong. And then on top of it... Well, and then for, in, in January, uh, so during the winter, because the winter is always a really uh, bad time uh, to refit a boat because it's winter and there's, there was snow and it's really cold. Uh, 
So we lost our tent and yeah, and we spent a lot of time and money uh, to cover our boat because we couldn't put it inside uh, the, uh, the, there was no big here. Big. Yeah, it's too big. So we lost the tent and uh, because of that we lost another probably f maybe two months uh, yeah. of delays. Because no, there, was, there wasn't a whole lot we could do in this temperature, you know, we could do small mm -hmm. steps here inside, but uh, not a lot. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, Pretty much all the outside work has come to a halt mm -hmm. for a while until it became uh, warmer. And then, and then again, and then. like that wasn't enough. It's probably not and then, it's, as you all know, in February, war has broken out, uh, you know, across the border. Mm -hmm. And as much as it's uh, definitely a, a really tough place to be there in Ukraine, uh, it has a cascading effect on neighbors as well and the whole feeling of security and the whole thing with uh, the way economy is running the way uh you know things uh, uh things have changed in the normal routines in the normal day and uh, it, it it just it, you know it was yet another thing that hit us pretty hard so and here in poland all the prices especially fuel uh, dramatically rose uh, mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so uh it happened that all the prices even in the marine industry are uh, are gone are gone they're new every day yeah yeah yeah, yeah meaning like <laughs> it's a it's a it's it's kind of crazy because uh, sometimes i'm having a discussion with a supplier you know trying to uh, to put an order together and literally three days later they they call us and they say hey mm -hmm. I, i'm so sorry but the the quote i gave you is just impossible we can't do it for this price because right now the price i quoted you three days ago is not even available at that price in wholesale, um, you know, at the at where they getting it from. So, so they are saying basically this: we're sorry, we're gonna give it to you for the price that we're getting it. So we're not making any money, just because we've been going back and forth. And uh, but it's still gonna be 50% more than three days ago. Mm. Uh, and everybody's looking around and like, what? <laughs> it's like. So, you know, I'm not longer doing what I'm, I'm just like, OK, you know, that's if, it, if that's what needs to be, needs to be. You know, it's like I can't uh, we just have to get uh, get this done. And there's no two ways about it. Right. We said A, we have to say B. Mm -hmm. And it seems like we have to go all the way to Z, actually, with this one. So this, is, this is the moment <laughs> that we uh, try not to think too much. Because yeah, when, just keep when, going day by I day. When I start to just think, so it's getting really <laughs> dark. So I tr try to we try to stay uh, calm and positive and uh, just act, yeah, yeah just step by step. And uh, because we would, would like to, we would the plan is that we'd like to uh, leave Poland in uh, uh, in uh, before September, mm -hmm. before September to get back to the Caribbean uh, in December because we'd like to cross in uh, late November this year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, and uh, we decided to. Uh, share with you more videos about the refit in details so and that's, that's the good news that's good, the good news that's the good news the good news is this that <laughs> that we are news. in the end yes. against all these odds we are getting towards the end we're actually finally bouncing off you know kind of how, how when you do a, a refit or a, or even remodeling of the house for first things first things gotta get a lot worse before they get a lot better right mm -hmm. so we're at the point where everything got a lot worse and now things finally are getting slowly better mm -hmm. uh, we're bouncing off and we're starting to reinstall things things start to look like they are supposed to uh, ultimately um, we can start putting installations back together uh, we start to uh, to produce new furniture so we kind of go on along all kinds of different things at the same time of course the outside Outside is the first priority at this point because we want to splash, uh, not necessarily completely ready in the interior, but we still want to splash to be able to see what's going on if there's need to be any any correction or whatever. So we're repainting the whole boat. So it's it's a major project. I mean, it's like one major project after another. But anyway, now's a great time because if we do, I was thinking to do a, like a refit, short refit video, basically every day as we're working because now's a great time because we're literally taking uh, almost a lot of things from where we can show you before and after because within a few days things go from being completely demolished to being done because all the work all the homework has been done before and everything is more or less prepared to be closed up and and, and signed off so 
Uh, so I think it should be really interesting for you. We don't know exactly what we're going to um, publish uh, publicly and what's going to end up just for the Patreons. Uh, but definitely there's going to be some part of that and some part of that. So either way, we invite you to, uh, to watch. And we, of course, want to thank all the Patreons for supporting the, the production. And keep the fingers crossed because now it's a really uh, important moment for us just to... Uh, to survive till the end and get back to water because it's been one year when our home is in a mess and we really we are suffering because we really miss both life and we cannot imagine our life without uh, being on the water this year on the land what well, has been amazing but too long to I me, really miss water to, in the to me personally <laughs> it was about it was somewhere about february where i decided to where i uh, started to get this feeling like i'm transitioning from a tourist enjoying the the winter view mm. to uh mm. to someone who's had enough and wants to get back to warm and to uh um to sailing to water to mm. having a house and not being you know sort of halfway homeless yeah. our, our skin is getting white yeah my hair is getting dark. darker so yeah and my hair is getting gone good. it's <laughs> not good and kids are getting wilder after yeah. this months they started you know they know the video games exist so that's yeah bad. that was that was bad that was bad that all was of a sudden bad. they found out about video games they found out they found out that coca-cola is not for adults just <laughs> just for adults so and kids can curse. so on one, yeah so on one hand their interaction yeah. with with their peers is okay but yeah. you know there are some things that we have to undo so yeah both like please come back yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. See you next time. See you next time. Bye. Segredos venda floresta de luz pra te amar, pra te amar. Abre a consciência dos seus filhos a crescer.